One of the most frustrating parts about trying to learn the piano as a producer is not knowing where to start when it comes to creating and playing chords. And you certainly don't want to be reading sheet music, spending years getting absolutely no results. You just want to boost that creativity in your own productions or in writing sessions with other artists, as well as feeling an increased confidence so you can sit down and create the chord progressions that you hear your favorite artists on Spotify using. So in this video, I'll be breaking down the three stages to memorizing chords so you can start plugging them into your tracks in just 10 minutes. Coming up. Hi, I'm Michael Emerson, bringing you the best tips, tricks, and tools to accelerate your keyboard skills for your music production. Now, as a producer, trying to figure out chords can be a very overwhelming task, but it really doesn't have to be. In fact, by learning what I'm about to show you, you can save yourself hours and forget about using MIDI packs and sample packs and trying to rearrange what chords are already there because you'll know how to make your own. So stage one is to use all the white note chords all together. So C, D minor, E minor, F, major, G major, A minor, and seven is the odd one out. That is the diminished chord. Now you can kind of leave that one out for now and just focus on the first six because you could stop there and just start writing chord progressions straight away as a producer with just those six chords. So I could go. And then that could be the core part of a chord progression that I could improvise on top. So definitely check out the free resource that I've made for you called the Chord Progression Cheat Sheet, which is available in the description below, where you can basically swipe hit chord progressions that I've written out for you, used by major artists, producers, and composers. So to take advantage of that resource, click the link in the description below, or visit fasttrackkeys.com slash cheat sheet. Then what you want to do is go into stage two, which is where we start to change the flavor. Now, what do I mean by that? Well, all of these chords that are in the key, you can change the flavor of them from, if it's a major chord, it can be changed to a minor chord. And if it's already a minor chord, it can be changed to a major chord. And this you can do for every single chord. And it will give you some more chords to play with, okay? But we're just gonna be focusing on the first six, leaving out that B diminished chord for now. So let's say you wanted to change a major chord, like C, into a minor chord. And we're in the root position shape. All you need to do is take that middle note there and move it down a half step. That becomes from C to C minor. It's immediately changed the sound of it. Let's say I was on a minor chord, like D minor. If I want to make that major, I raise the middle note up a half step. Can you see? It's changed the flavor of the chord. Now it's a happy sound rather than a serious sound. And we'll get onto how you can do this in progressions in a set. Let's say you're on E minor, that can be changed to E major. F could be changed to F minor. G could be changed to G minor. So that's why it's important to be able to spot minor and major chords first. For example, here's a minor chord and we want to make it major, raise the middle note, okay? If you've got a chord progression written just using the stage one chords that are just in the key of C, you can now start changing these chords to change the sound of your chord progressions. For example, I might have an A minor, F, G, and then maybe E minor. But what would happen if I change this final chord E minor into an E Oh, major. Okay, now we're getting something different. Suddenly, that's a more interesting sound because I've changed the final chord. Now, I just changed one there. You can change as many as you like and experiment. So for example, F, A minor, G, and this, I would have gone for D minor if I was keeping to just white notes, but raise the middle note and you get more of a triumphant sort of sound. So I could create an improvisation around those chords and give it a completely different sound. So 
So now we've completed stage two, it's time to go into stage three, which is use the black note chords. So we're basically just using the chords that start on these black notes here, these five black notes. So we have D flat, E flat, F sharp, A flat, and B flat. Now these require a little bit more memorization technique, so you're gonna have to try and spot which chord shapes are the same, okay? So we start on this one here, which is called D flat major. Then this one here, by the side of it, is actually the same shape. If you look at those two there, D flat and E flat are the same shape. Then you've got one more, it's the same shape, which is A flat. So we're gonna try and memorize those first. So D flat starts on D flat. All root position still, the root is at the bottom, E flat, and then A flat. You can see these are a bit more advanced. Then you've got two more, which would be F sharp major, okay? and then B flat major as well. Now these two shapes are a little bit different, aren't they? So your F sharp major is all black notes, like that. And then B flat has the two white notes at the top with the black note at the bottom, okay? Now there are two more chords that I'll show you at the very end, but we're just gonna use these for now, okay? Then we do the same thing as before. Once you've got the major chord, you can change it to a minor chord. So you just need to move the middle note down a half step, that becomes D flat minor. Yeah, so D flat major, D flat minor. Then if you've got E flat major, take the middle note down a half step, so the next door neighbor. E flat minor, yeah. Then we could go to the A flat if you want, so that's the same shape as the others. Flatten the middle note again, and you get A flat minor. Then let's go for the F sharp major, or black notes. Kind of the odd one out, isn't it? Again, flatten the middle note, you get F sharp minor. So we're basically playing with different flavors here. So you've got B flat and then B flat minor like that. Now that technically gives you most of the chords or nearly all of them. There's only a few left. Now let's come back to that diminished chord that we talked about at the start, which is this chord here, which is the seventh in our scale of chords, yeah? Now this one is a little bit different into how you change it into a major and minor chord. If you want to change this one into a minor chord, you raise the top note, and if you want to change it into a major chord, it's already a minor chord now, B minor, so you raise the middle note. Yeah? So let's have a go at using the chords from stage three as well, so. Now I can create an improvisation on top of that. So now you know every basic major or minor chord using the three stages technique. Now you need to double down on starting to write your own chord progressions with them, especially using the stage one white note chords. And that's why I've shot a special video for you demonstrating how to build out your own chord progressions using just these white note chords and how to build killer chord progressions from scratch. So to check out that video now, click or tap the screen or another Fast Track Keys video, click or tap the screen. Smash like if you got value and subscribe and I will see you in the next video.